What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the DCUO Sourcecast. Your source for all DCUO news about the game and the community. Uh, episode 212, I believe it is. 212. Uh, we are rolling into here this week, folks. Uh, no episode last week. Um, didn't really have that much to talk about last week. Uh, there was a couple sales going on over the weekend. Um... But uh, outside of that, there wasn't that much to talk about because Amazon Fury 3 had not hit test yet. But hey, Amazon Fury 3 is on test now. So we got some news. We got some stuff to talk about here. Uh, I debated on uh, getting on test tonight and showing you guys some of the stuff that's going on in there. Um, frankly, uh there's a lot of people out there. If you guys, you know, I'll, I, I got no problem, you know, helping out folks in the community with their YouTube channels. So if you guys want to check out I Eddie Gaming, uh, gosh, there's, I mean, if you just go on YouTube right now and you search for Amazon Fury Three, uh, you can find some uh, you can find some DCO content out there from the test server. Folks running the raids, the solos, the doing the duos, and everything like that. We're going to talk a little bit more about some of the details um, going into the, the tests and everything. Uh, what's going on with uh, like the patch notes and stuff like that uh, tonight. Um, another thing, too, is I'm not one of those guys. I don't know about y'all, um, but, I mean, I, I'm i one of those few guys that, you know, pays attention to the story. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't like getting spoiled, you know. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't like getting uh, spoiled with the uh, the storyline or anything like that. Make sure everybody can hear me out there because nobody said anything yet. <laughs> Since I came back live. I'm just talking to myself right now. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, yeah, I'm one of those guys that, you know, I don't like uh, having a movie spoiled for me or a TV show spoiled for me. Like, the other night, Sunday night, I usually watch my shows the very next day. You know, I usually stream them. Uh, cause I've gotten rid of like pretty much everything, but like my basic cable. So most of the TV shows that I do watch, I'm either, you know, getting them off of Netflix, Hulu, or HBO now, or I will go directly to their networks and, uh, stream them from the, the network sites. Like all, all the CW shows I had to, uh, I was watching all those on Netflix and now I gotta, uh, I'm sorry. I was watching all those on Hulu. And, uh, since they, uh, um, ended their deal with Hulu and are only releasing their new seasons after the end of the season on Netflix now, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I cannot wait until the whole season's done before I, you know, just binge watch a shit and binge watch like four shows. My, I'm, I'm, my daughter's mad enough at me as it is because I have not watched a single episode of Supernatural yet, and it's going in its tenth season. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's really wanting me to watch get into that show though. Uh, so, so you know, I'm you know, so like, so, so like the, the night of a like a, a you know season premiere or a, you know what what's going to be a huge episode. I like shut down. I was, I'm not looking at Twitter. You know, I'm you know like. You know, say anything. And Sunday night, I got pulled into a Skype chat out of nowhere, and I didn't really participate that much in it. Um, some of you may have heard the uh, or seen the video out there. It's like a four-hour live stream that I had no idea was that, that was going on at the time. Um, and I come in like you know, like the last hour of it, but I was just sitting there just listening to the call 
and um, you know, people knew I was in there and all that, and I typed in there saying hi, you know, to a couple of people and everything. Yeah, and uh, and then somebody started talking about Walking Dead. Well, everybody knows, you know, Walking Dead was on, you know, season premiere. Of Walking Dead was on Sunday night, and I'm not going to spoil it for anybody out there. Because I mean, just in case nobody's seen it yet, but you know, we're just going to find out who Negan killed Sunday night. So somebody mentioned Walking Dead, and I, I immediately unmuted my mic, and I was like, "If anybody spoils Walking Dead, I am gone. I, I will walk. <laughs> Any interaction you, you may have gotten from me will be out the window. I will be out the door, and I will hate you for life." <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys, I don't like, you know, uh, getting, you know, spoiled about stuff. But I'm, not, I'm also one of those guys that doesn't like, uh, you know, being told, you know, I, I'd, I'd rather know what my Christmas present is. So, it's really weird. It's really weird. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why that is. I don't, I don't like being spoiled when it comes to, like, TV shows and movies. I don't like spoilers, but if somebody knows what I'm getting for Christmas, you know, I'd, I'd rather know. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of the most weird things with me, I guess. Um, so, yeah, plus, uh, you know, um, as far as, you know, what else has been going on this week. Um, but, yeah, that's why I'm not hopping on tests right now uh, until somebody, like, ruins the storyline for me. Or any of the epic endings and cliffhangers that they got, you know, possibly coming there more than likely in this episode coming up. Uh, I probably won't be getting on test to, you know, delve too much into the content. Um, although I am interested and I want to see how this new loot system works out. Um, but, uh... So yeah, as far as this week goes, um, I don't know anybody out there. Anybody out there use uh, got Astro A40s? Astro A40s. Um, I've been having an issue with my headset, and it's really bothering me. Um, where my right speaker, the the right ear muff speakers, are like out. They're like shot. But for some reason, it works every once in a while. So I'm think I'm figuring it's the cord with the inline mute switch. Um, and I went to Astro's, uh, website to order a new one and they're out of stock on them. And I'm like, assholes. So I've been like waiting to find, you know, waiting for them to get back in stock with those things so I can, uh, get a new one. Cause only hearing in one ear when I'm playing a game is just, oh man, it's driving me nuts. And, uh, especially, you know, when, you know, there's, you know, there's a new uh, shooter game, new FPS out there that I want to play really bad. Um, but I haven't gotten it yet. And the main reason why I haven't gotten it yet is because I, I'm i a sound whore in FPSs. So I'm like, <laughs> I, need, I need that right ear input. I need that stereo surround sound for me right there. Uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, I am on my own this week. Um... Have not heard from Crappy in a while. So, I don't know. I think he's uh, lost in the... Uh, uh, um, Halo offshoot game or whatever. So, we're just going to run it solo here and all that. Because that's what we can do. Um, so, yeah. Amazon Fury Part 3 is on the test server. Right now. Uh, Ares of Cersei are finally ready to challenge Zeus, uh, King of the Gods. For control of Olympus. Wonder Woman knows that if she doesn't intercept Ares and Cersei, her mother's soul could be lost forever. From Themyscira in the chaotic streets of Gotham City to the depths of the underworld and the heights of Olympus, battle your way through the finale of the Amazon Fury trilogy. Uh, Amazon Fury Part 3 features new daily open world missions, a new solo mission, a new duo, a new alert, and two new raids, both with elite versions. Two elite ra two raids with elite versions of them and all you raiders out there should be happy about that uh so yeah the new solo mission um and there's a lot of feats too 
Uh, in case you guys haven't seen all that, there's a lot of feats, and there was like from some four-star feats, and I think they may have bumped them down. I think it's in the later test notes here. But I think they may have bumped them down or, or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's like four-star feats. Four-star feats, and that's a whole skill for a whole like a whole skill point. Um, some people were doing the math, and it was like close to 17 skill points in this uh, episode. I was like, wow. That's crazy. Um, but the uh, new solo mission seen Shades again. Uh, Shades from the Underworld have been begun appearing in Gotham City. Find out why. Find the source and shut it down. Um, this is, gonna, I believe, this is the open world solo that you can go do uh, in Gotham Under Siege. Gotham Under Siege. Not Gotham Wastelands, Gotham Under Siege. This is, you know, it's been a while since we've all been there, but we get to go back again. Uh, let's see here. The new four-player... Did they skip the... Oh, okay, there it is down there. Uh, new four-player operation, Underworld Trials. Uh, return to the Underworld, uh, delving even deeper into Tartarus to face the uh, Trials of, of the Impossible. A uh, mysterious old woman has sworn to help gain access to Olympus to those that face and survive the trials. Who is this old woman? I have no idea. I have no idea. Why? Because I haven't gone in there and run it because I don't like getting spoiled. <laughs> I don't like spoilers. <laughs> um, I like to see it fresh. I mean, granted, now if I go on a test server and play through it, it'd be fresh for me, but I don't know. It's just one of those things. Uh, so, yes, the... Uh, under tier eight, tier eight, folks. Yeah, that's right. We're going into tier eight now with this. In case you all didn't know that, notice that. Uh, combat rating one sixty six to get in. Um, looks like combat one sixty six to get in. All this stuff here, and then of course the uh, new uh, raid in Elite Raid Olympus. Uh, villains follow the request of Cersei and Ares and help depose Zeus from the throne. Or heroes aid Wonder Woman in freeing her mother's soul. Whatever your goal is, you must now face the gods in Olympus. Uh, so you, that is the uh, new, new raid right there. Uh, so we also got the uh, new open world zone monster invasion. Uh, these were fun with the last Under Siege. This is something I kind of missed. Going out and farming these uh, monsters and everything uh, for marks. This is oddly something that uh, is supposed to be... Um, it's, it's supposed to take you a week because, from my understanding, um, see, it says, uh, your actions in Olympus have had dire consequences. The Gotham City is overrun with legendary monsters. Fight back against this scourge. From my understanding, this is going to have like a week long lockout on this, and they don't want you to reset because I guess, I, from my, what I understand, the reward for it is 18 of the coins. Not 18, 8. 8 of the coins. So. They don't want you to reset this, and from my understanding too, it, it's going to take you a while. You got to like, kill like 400 some of these monsters or something like that. I don't know. It's crazy, crazy. Uh, but I really like missions like that. Yeah. I, I, I really like missions like that. I mean, even if it takes me a week, you know, to do it, I mean, you know, just go out there, you know, smash on them for a little while. You know, do that in between queues. Stuff like that. Some, you know, something to fill the time. You know, instead of farming bits. <laughs> Which I still occasionally do. Uh, see, we also have the new duo Raising Hades. Uh, travel to the Underworld to restore Hades as Lord of the Dead and seek his aid in regain Olympus. And uh, the new raid in Elite Raid, uh, God of Monsters. Uh, new king rules Olympus and his offspring run wild. He must be dethroned. And balance must be restored before it is too late for the mortal realm. I believe this is the uh, the Typhon, the raid where we end up fighting Typhon. And that was it for. Uh, see, that was the on the twenty fourth when it went on test. Twenty fifth, of course, we know we have we got patch notes. For, we got patch notes for the patch notes. Um. They're investigating the crash they believe is uh, related to using the style tab. Uh, for now, please try to use your style tab as infrequently as possible. Uh, See, so loot that changed the names on Fallen Godsuit, non-elite from Gilded to Rouse. 
uh, aggressor to warrior and manipulator to emissary. Uh, base item collection feats will now be updated when the base item is consumed instead of when it enters the inventory. <coughs> uh, update the tooltips of all equipment mods to no longer say they affect your combat rating because they don't, which is good. Uh, duos, the uh, update the uh, duplicate voiceover in the collection Ixion's Tale of Woe. Uh, let's see here. The Underworld Trials Alert. They fixed an issue where the Phoenix would continue to fight after all three eggs were swapped. Uh, see, in the raids with Olympus, they reduce the amount of enemies that need to be defeated before the Wise Seer appears outside the gates of Olympus. And in Gods of Monster. Gods of Monsters, the door to the forge will now open after the bosses are defeated, whether or not Wonder Woman and Cersei were in the forge. So yeah. So there's that. And then um the next the following day, the twenty-sixth, Wednesday, uh let's see they uh resolved an issue on PC test only that was causing players to be disconnected. Uh, let's see the solo missions, uh, seeing shades again. The boss loot is now awarded on mission completion via treasure boxes so that resetting loot locks properly rewards all loot. Um, that's a good thing. <laughs> let's see here. The underworld trials, uh, alert. They fixed an issue where Gorgons could get stuck in their spawn closet. Uh, they were stuck in the closet. <laughs> they were R. Kelly in it. Uh, <laughs> See, an A-player uh, normal, uh, they increase the level of NPCs in both the episode 27 raids. Uh, in the Elite, they inc greatly increase the level of NPCs in both of, the, uh, both of the raids. Both of the Elite raids. Elite versions of the raids. The only thing I don't like is in this DLC is the grind for the mods. Gear 3, grind 4. Mods, not so much. Hmm. Uh, I saw there was some like really uh, wacky uh, looking mods going on um, with some pictures I saw. So we'll to, well, I'm pretty sure we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, Monster Hatcher and Monster Hatcher Ultimate feats now say at least 19. Uh, this is in the God of Monsters raid. Uh, the arena champions missing from the elite version of the fight should now appear. Um, loot. They updated the gear, treasure box, tooltips to better explain the item levels of their contents. And they fixed an issue that could prevent certain collection items from appearing. So that's pretty much it for those uh, patch notes right there. Um, go back here to the development section here because I want to talk about the uh, da -da -da, loot and rewards. Um, stuff going on for everybody out there that's not aware of it. Uh, we actually talked about this um, when they first announced Amazon Fury 3. Um, and yeah, I understand a lot of you guys out there are worried about the grind and everything like that, but at the same time, you guys understand uh, we're going back to three months long, we're going back to uh, quarterly content releases so you know anything that they can put out there to you know extend the life of the dlc of, of, of the content nothing I'm, I'm actually for it i mean if, it, if it's going to mean you know you gotta get on like you know every other day or you know something like that you know just put it put in your time and all that get your you know you know put in your time and you know get your dailies done at least to uh, go in and uh, get your grind on to get your mods and everything like that. I'm, uh, I'm honestly all for it because, you know, I mean, it, it's this game is more fun when there's more people playing it. And with uh, the advent of replay badges, you know, people, you know, using replay badges for the wrong reasons, to be honest with you. Uh, it cracks me up. You know, I mean, some of the some of the way the way you know people, the same people who complain about replay badges, you know, and feeling like they're quote unquote forced to use replay badges are the ones who use them the most. Uh, 
it just it really cracks me up with the 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 slight hypocrisy, you know, because they they feel like they're forced to, you know, like, hey, I'm I have to, or else, you know, I'm not I'm not competitive. I mean, there's there's no such thing. The only competitive PVE there ever was in this game was the PVE competitions, the survival, you know, uh, the uh, PVE challenges that they did on FNL. That was the only competitive PVE out there. All right. You're not competing with anybody in your raid group when you go in to complete content. You're working together to complete content. So there's no competition there. Uh, I don't know where this all came from. Um, you know, maybe it's a lack of, you know, attention to the PvP side of things. So people had to start doing these DPS comps. You know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it just floors me. I, you know, if you guys get it done and you get it done in a reasonable amount of time, what, I mean, seriously, what, what do you don't need to be doing the competing for? Anyways, anyways, if you don't, if you don't want to use replay badges, don't use replay badges, folks. It's, you know, moral of the story right there for y'all. I mean, seriously, think about it. I mean, it only makes sense. I mean, if you don't don't sit there and complain about using about replay badges, and then you know spam out all the content in a week, week and a half, and then bitch for two months, two and a half months, then you ain't got nothing to do. You're an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, I'm off my soapbox now. Uh, <laughs> So they went back to uh, going back to a uh, new uh, gear and progression system here. Um, yeah, Gargamon, I know what they're talking about too, but I I don't give a shit about that. The only thing I care about is did 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 we pop the headline at the end of it? Or did we did we beat the last boss? You know, if I'm going in there for specific feet, did we get the feet? You know, that's the only thing people should be worried about going into into, into PVE. You should be more worried about working together to get stuff done instead of talking trash on each other or, you know, putting together, you know, all healer, all troll, all tank groups for only two DPS to go through because they're having a DPS comp. Stop wasting people's time with that stuff. I get it. people, you know, want to be able to do that, go out there and do the max damage they can, the most damage they can. And I'm, I'm all for everybody like that. Um, but at the same time, though, I mean, the, the goal of PvE is everybody working together to beat the raid, not, you know, stand there and, you know, play backup for two people who are trying to measure their e pings anyways back off my soapbox <laughs> uh okay atomic cabbage is here with uh some news here for us which i appreciate uh for like the new mods um you need to salvage your gear for parts uh, you need to make the top to make the top mods. To make one mod, you need 24 exobytes, 10 complex, 22 simple, which sounds about right with the progression. Uh, 17 monstrous monstrous essence, 11 11 focusing elements. Is that right? 11 focusing elements, 14 core elements, and 14 essence purifiers. Is that right with 11 focusing elements or just? Wow. And you can only get that all that. You can only get any of um, that stuff uh, aside from the exobytes, obviously, from salvaging. That's interesting. Hmm. So, anyways, get back to it here. 
That is quite the grind. Now, do you only get that from salvaging gear in the new content, or do you can you get that stuff from salvaging gear in older content? That's the question you need to be asking. That's the question that needs to be asked. So if you can salvage gear from older content and get those monstrous essences and the core elements and the essence purifiers and the focusing elements, I'm, I don't think I'm going to have an issue with this. But while he's answering there... Um, yeah, gear and vendor. Best gear and vendor. People have been asking for it for a long time. Uh, so far as you know, only... Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, the best gear on the vendor now... Uh, the drop gear you're going to be getting is uncommon green, rare blue, and epic purple, and it's going to be it's going to be gradually going up. You're going to get better pieces, you know, depending on what piece you're currently wearing. Um, and then the best gear, which is going to be the the orange gear or the gold gear, is it orange? Yeah, orange. Orange gear is going to be on the vendor. Now, you have to complete content to get the uh, ancient coins. All right, with this episode. Uh, the ancient coins will be spent at a vendor to purchase the strongest gear set in the episode. All right. Uh, note content will continue to reward marks of victory and everything else you are used to, and marks will continue to be used for what they are now in prior content and for other non gear related purposes. So, rare style vendors. Um, paying your rent, and in case folks may have missed it, there is a base item vendor now that sells like boxes of base items. Boxes with base items in there. And from what I've seen, there are some wicked, 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 wicked uh, base items coming in with this. I saw a statue. I saw a statue of Zeus that was like the same size as the Superman statue in Centennial Park. It's ginormous, gi freaking enormous. So, yeah, that's definitely gonna go in somebody's league hall. Yeah, I've been hearing. I've been hearing. Um, Lots of good stuff about, you know, how the content works. Um, Atomic. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, best gear on um, Vendor is considered the legendary gear. Uh, best gear on Vendor with Ancient Coins requires players to participate in the new content to acquire the new content's rewards. Prevents later or earlier releases from impacting the time to compete and also removes randomness entirely from this core gear progression. And I kind of see where they're going at with this, because, like, whenever we would get, like, a new monthly episode, and even before, um, when uh, they were doing three months and we only had marks of victory, uh, I would make sure that I was, like, at the cap with, you know, like, a bunch of uh, lockboxes, Promethean lockboxes saved up. To open up and like right off the bat when we get a new piece of content I would have the chest um, and both reins uh, <laughs> purchased because uh, that would you know use up all my marks right there so I'd already be well on my way towards um completing out the set you know or off to a good start already so I, I like this I like this everybody's got to start off at zero when it comes to uh, vendor currency for the new gear. And uh, so I do like this. I know there's probably some bunch of people out there that don't like it. But you know what? They are giving us a new mark sync for the marks of victory. 
which I like, and it's this lair item uh, vendor, which people have been, well, not all, not everybody, but I know there's a lot of people out there, a lot of people I know, at least, been asking for this, you know, wanting something else for us to sink our marks into. And with these lair item boxes, I'm really excited to see that uh, they're listening to that. Uh, best gear on vendor legendary the elite gear um, Completing elite versions of content will reward ancient coins and renown with factions specific to episode 27 All right, the elite vendor will not offer gear to players until they have acquired enough renown Once they have the gear will be available for ancient coins Legendary elite vendor gear will have an enhanced version of the regular vendor gear style plus set bonuses just like elite gear does now so you have to complete the elite raids you have to complete the elite raids to get the renown all right in order to purchase the elite gear with the ancient coins that you're going to be earning um once again i like this you're not forced to do not forced to go after the elite gear um, if you don't want to, um, you're not forced to go after the elite gear. You know what? You're going to come in with negativity into my stream, sir. Check yourself. Um, you take a few minutes. Think about what you just said. Be nice about it. You can say it in a lot nicer ways than that, you know. You can come in here and say, oh, wow, cool, people still play this game. That's awesome. I like this game. Don't come into a, a, don't come into somebody's stream when they're talking about a game or they're playing, actually playing the damn game even. That's the thing that makes you, that's the thing that drives me crazy me the most. All right, all you people come into freaking YouTube videos and the comments and on people's streams, you know, when they're playing the game or they're showing gameplay and you come into their comments and you're like, man, this game's dead. Why are you still playing this game? It's dead. Obviously, it's not dead if they're on their on the game playing it. They're on their if they're on that game playing it, or they're talking about it. They're dedicated a hour or two a week to doing a live stream about said game. All right, for two hundred and twelve episodes, then obviously the game's not dead. All right, your brain cells may be. In a life and death struggle. For making comments like that. But the game's obviously not dead. Now. Game populations. You know. Ups and downs. DCO's had it's. You know. Shares of ups and downs. Alright. I am not going to deny that. DCO's population. You know. Player population right now. Is probably at, at an all time low right now. Because. Of the lack of new content that we've had for the past few months. However, don't come into a stream where a guy's doing a podcast, a weekly podcast, the 212th episode of said podcast. Make a comment about the game being dead when there's a freaking new DLC content currently on their test server. All right, this is getting ready to be released in a week or so. Serious, I you, you people, people, you, the people, people who do that, you guys make absolutely zero sense to me whatsoever. And if you had any kind, any kind of Fond memories or enjoyed the game at all or wish the game would do better or was doing better or was more popular, you wouldn't go around talking about how it's, oh, the game's dead. Populations on games, they go up and down in between content and releases. I'm just sure that goes for the big ones too. Wow, I'm sure. Happy it goes up and down for them. Call of Duty. 
Battlefield. You know, granted, they're not the same games. As, you know, they're not MMOs. But I'm talking about big games and all that. And you guys go around talking about saying how this game's dead, that game's dead. This game's dead. People still play this? Yeah, obviously. I, you know, I'm doing a podcast about it, you schmuck. Oh. Third time I had to get on my soapbox. <laughs> oh, man. People, people, people. So, yeah, you don't have to do... The elite, well, you have to do the elite raids to get the elite gear, but the elite gear has the same stats as the regular vendor legendary gear. All right, um, and but what you but you do get a set bonus, and obviously the styles you know kind of you know like tuned up a bit. Um. And there is, there is a, yeah, the set bonus. Um, but the, the way they're doing this and all this, make sure that uh, people who uh, um, want this elite gear ensures that the players complete the episode's elite content to acquire the elite rewards and removes randomness from this extended gear progression aimed at DCO's enthusiasts. So, yeah. This is taking all the randomness out of getting your elite gear. You guys, you know, queuing up for DWFE, trying to get, trying to get, you know, the elite chest, the elite bag. You know, it's like perfect example. Freaking uh, black as day, black as day. I have got every single elite piece. I've gotten every single elite piece from Black as Day Elite, except for the back. And the back is the one style out of that whole set that I really want. Um, because <laughs> that cape is cool as hell, uh, and I have not been able to get it yet, and I'm not using replay badge, I'm not, you know, throwing replay badges at it, so, yeah, I'm a little frustrated by that, uh, but hopefully this is something that maybe they'll, uh, tweak to, uh, go back into older content, and then all I have to do is just, like, get Renown up by running... That elite, or that elite raid, and I'll be able to just, you know, buy it. Or, before then, maybe I'll just get lucky and I'll get it in a drop. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> or maybe they'll come out with an elite uh, rare style vendor. That would be awesome. That would be awesome, too. Uh, Omnipotence gear and collections. I know this has got a lot of people up in arms. <clears throat> really got the hackles. Raise their hackles up a bit. Um, but once again, this was taking the randomness out of getting OP drops. Because uh, I know, like, I know for a fact that, you know, I got really lucky. Like, the first day that KCT dropped, I got really lucky on a few of my tunes. On a couple of my tunes, cause I, I got I got one rain on, like, two different, two different tunes uh, the first night the KCT dropped and I've gotten lucky in a couple other raids with you know, like utility belts, you know I got you know I got the utility belt and rare the OP neck on my main from BBS uh I've gotten a utility belt on several tunes actually. <laughs> um <laughs> but uh I don't know how. I swear to god I don't know how. Uh but Trex did too, so go yell at him for it. Um, but you know, I, I understand, understand the uh, frustration that folks have with not getting OP items because, like, other OP items, like previous OP items, like you know the the Prime helmet, face mask, rings, other stuff um, that came out before. I still don't have that. I still don't have those things. I still walk into Prime once a week just to see if I'll get that head style. Um, so, I know this has got some folks up in arms and everything like that, but there's some serious, serious steps you guys got to go through in order to 
get be able to get these OP items. Uh, you know, I mean, first of all, you have to obtain is wearing a full set of either vendor gear sets, regular or elite. All right. Um, when the set bonus is active, uh, you have to uh, you have a chance, a chance to get a new uh, mystical and tradable items drops from episode twenty seven bosses. From my understanding, this is dropping from all the bosses. So solo, duo, alert, and the raids. All right. And then these mystical items are for several new collections. And two of these new collections will reward Omnipotence Gear when complete. So, yeah. It's going to take you a while to get these. Um, to be able to get these. Uh, and once again, you know, I understand, you know, the hackles and everything. You know, people are, you know, kind of upset about it. But when you think about it, you know, this is taking the RNG out of the loot system. You know, and you know, everybody's you know nobody's a fan of the RNG system in any game. <laughs> in any game. And honestly, this is something more along the lines of something to do in other in other uh um, and other games too. Uh, I know for a fact, like in Star Trek Online, uh, they'll have um, items, you know, certain things that you can get while you are, uh, when you complete a mission in there. And say, like, there'll be like four different items that you can get, you know, pieces of equipment or something like that, that you can get. Right, that you know, like better armor, better a better you know you know gun or better weapons for your your ship or whatnot, better you know or something or something along those lines. That when you do that mission, you know, replay that mission, and everything you can get the other items and they'll complete an item set. Uh, and that will give you either extra bonuses towards your stats or it'll give you an extra ability when you're either on the ground or you're in your ship and everything. But there's no RNG in that. Which I like. So, this is taking this is taking a lot of the RNG out of uh, uh, DCUO when it comes to the loot. And I think this is a good step forward. Um, not just for this DLC, but for future content as well. Um, I hate collections too, Atomic. I, I can't stand them. They gnaw at me. Uh, Diddy Gargamon, I have not watched it yet. I'll have to go watch it here. Um, but yeah, the Atomic, yeah, collections, they gnaw at me to no end. Uh, having a collection uncompleted just it bugs the hell out of me. RNG is the random number generator. All right, uh, is basically what determines, you know, what kind of loot you get from each boss. Oh, he just now released it. All right, I'll have to check it out after the show, Gargamon. Uh, But yeah, so it uh, I, I I like it. I like it though. It take take takes that out of there. So you know you, you know how you, you you go into a you know a, you know like for instance like I have not gotten the freaking nuclear style feet to drop for my sorcery tune ever, ever, right? But I've got, I'll get those feet repeatedly on other tunes. This does away with that. This this new system does away with that. Well, Tommy, you can get away with uh, doing raids 
um, pugging into raids, you know, without a mic. I do it a lot with with uh, my alts. Usually, usually I'm on I'm on tunes that people have no idea who I am <laughs> when I'm on my alts. Uh, when I'm on some of my alts and. Uh, and even after I unmute my mic, people still don't remember who I am because, you know, who the hell am I anyways? Uh, but, but, yeah, you, you can get away with it. I mean, some 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 of them, you know, will ask you to mic up you know, or at least be in the voice channel. Um, you know, for me, it's, you know, more of a, you know, as long as you can hear and all that, I'm fine. I'm usually fine with it. Unless it's something we need everybody communicating on, and then you may run into issues. But you're not really running into those issues anymore with, you know, the content we've been getting. So, uh, go, go ahead and dab, dab your toe in, man. Dab your toe into some raids. You'll be all right. You know, and most of the time it is it is their loss. You know, and just tell just tell them and say, yeah, I don't have a mic, or you know, better yet, better yet, do this, do this, do this, because I've heard this, I've seen this a lot from people and all that. Tell them you're home, your kids are there, and they're screaming and playing. Uh, nobody wants to hear that shit. <laughs> nobody wants to hear that stuff. So just tell them he's like, that my kids are here playing. They got friends over. They're making a bunch of noise and all that. I don't want to unmute my mic and hassle you guys. But I can hear you. So as long as you can you know, just let them know that you can hear them and all that, you'll be fine. You should be fine. They should be understanding. <laughs> but yeah, a little tip for you on there. A little tip for you. Uh... <laughs> but yeah uh so i mean i mean seriously the rng you know needs needed to go i'm really i'm really really super super stoked over um these changes here coming up with the uh new loot um i want to see if there's anything new with uh test Coming out here. Oh, well, yep, look at that. Thanks for the heads up, Meps. Hey, look at this, folks. We just had 51 minutes ago. Uh, hot fix. Huge hot fix to the test server. We're going to talk about this and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, huge hot fix to the test server. Uh, general, the increased NPC level across all content. Typhon's monster invasion vendors located in enemy territory will no longer entice you to purchase items from them. Okay. Uh, see, they fixed various issues where players with low combat ratings were able to enter Amazon Fury content they should not have access to. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Uh, solo missions, Typhon's monster invasion. They fixed an issue where citizens were not encased in stone. Uh, the Gotham police are now thrilled to be freed from their stony graves and will no longer attack villains that assist them. <laughs> they should be attacking the villains. They're villains. Screw them. Screw the villains. Uh, so you seen Chase again. <laughs> After defeating Artemis, the teleporter to leave will activate... Immediately after talking to the seer, instead of waiting for the seer to finish talking, uh, so your two-player two-player raising Hades, uh, the duo after defeating Ixion, the scorecard and teleporter to leave will activate immediately after talking to Hades, instead of waiting for him to finish talking. Nah, man, make people stand there and listen, man. Make make them hear the story. Make them pay attention to all the hard work you guys put in this. Damn. Uh, let's see. Eight-player Olympus. Fixed an issue where sometimes electrified ambrosia pools wouldn't shock players or buff Zeus in the elite mode. They rebalanced the amount. You guys paying attention? You, pay, you guys can learn a lot about the mechanics by reading the patch notes. I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> 
Rebalance the amount of damage Zeus's vexa vexation does, as well as the amount of healing received, the buffing it does. They adjusted the amount of damage Periphus does, as well as his related Wrath of the Golden Eagle proc. Adjusted Periphus's behavior so that once he's taunted, he can continue to be taunted more easily. Uh, players should be able to more easily identify when they have been hit with Zeus's Vexation. Uh, let's see, Gods of Monsters, Cyclops' boss in the Forge should no longer T-pose. Uh, <laughs> improve the Minotaur charge attack, uh, add an exit portal for the final boss area, increase the damage for the Molten Ore and Flame Jets in the Forge. Feats. This is what we talked about earlier. This is probably what Trex was ranting about. Reduce the amount of feet points given by completing the following Amazon Fury 3 feats. Amazon Accoutrement, your own private Parthenon. Penny Plunder, Amazon Hoplite Armor, Power Suit, Power Tie, Power Steering. That's an awesome feat name. <laughs> That's an awesome feat name. Uh, Curious and Curas, or, yeah. A dozen dynamos, Amazon mod, hot mod of the gods, bijou of the bourgeois, I don't know, English please, of the beast, uh, Olympic reigns, make mine monster, monster hunter, monster farmer, humbled hero. The god of monsters elite raid now lists rare collections for having the divine favor feat in the reward section. Uh, fix the title granted by the Fallen God Elite Style Feet. Uh, as far as loot, they fixed the research and development station categories for supplies, equipment mods, and generator mods. You mentioned they are Olympian. Uh, the controller hand gear items now have yellow and hand sockets. Yeah, that's good. Uh, added rewards to the gods and monsters mission, fixed combat log, and current effects menu issues with incorrect or missing crafted consumables. So there's the new fixes, folks, that were put on test this evening. Um, make sure you guys go in there and check them out. That's a pity that they uh, you know, lowered down, reduced the amount of fee points from those feats. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why people were up in arms about that, to be honest with you. It makes no sense to me why people would be upset about four-star feats. No sense at all. Unless, you know, they were only applicable to the raid raids and folks like Atomic who aren't really, you know, raid players uh, may not have had as easy of a chance of getting in. Getting them. But, you know what? You gotta play the whole game, man. You gotta play the whole game. So, yeah. Yeah, Trex is back making DCO videos, so, you know, game's not dead. <clears throat> Asshole. Ah. Uh... So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, um, you guys you guys have been getting on tests. Go in there. Let me know how it's going. Let me know what you all think. Don't spoil the story for me, though, please. Um, Atomic Cabbage said he ran the duo and all that, and it's a lot of fun. He wants to uh, talk to uh, whoever made it and... Uh, um, congratulate them on a well-made, put-together instance. So, yeah. But, yep, uh, that's just about it here, folks. We're going to wrap things up here. Um, because I have not eaten yet. I am starving. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> uh... This, of course, has been the DCO Sourcecast, folks. Your source for all DCO news, gaming, and community wise. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
uh, rocking it solo again. Maybe uh, with, uh, you know, all this new stuff on the test or not, maybe you know, we'll get crappy back in here soon uh, to uh, talk about everything. Um, I, know, I know he's been real busy with work and everything. Uh, now, Trex, we only go to you for rants now. I'm going to go to you for rants now, Trex, from what I heard. And uh, I don't know if you heard mine earlier, but... Uh, oh, all right, Jareth. I see how you are. I see how you are. I see how you are, Jareth. Anyways... Now I'm just going to let you sit there. The 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 it's coming, it's coming, but you're not going to know when. And that is going to be my that is going to be my punishment for you. Anyways, we are the DCO Sourcecast, your source for all DCO gaming news, community, and otherwise. You can of course find us at facebook.com/slash DCO Sourcecast. You can also find us on the Twitter at DCO Sourcecast. Uh, and you can find the audio version of this on iTunes and at trexlight.com. I, of course, am Super Patriot. You can, of course, find me at youtube.com slash the Dice House, where you can also find the video version of this podcast. Uh, I'm going to get better on making sure those things are up by Sunday at the latest, folks. I promise you. Uh, you can also find me at facebook.com slash the Dice House. I am also on the Twitter at the Daddy's House there. And you can find me here at the new home of the DCO Sourcecast. Twitch.tv slash the Daddy's House. Uh, I want to thank you guys all for coming out here. Listening to me ramble on by myself. Talking about this game. Uh, which I do still love. And which is not dead. Assholes. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, those people annoy me. But, yeah, I want to thank you guys for coming by and listening. I really appreciate it uh, every week and other thing. Um, uh, find me at Atomic Cabbage in-game. Atomic Cabbage says, go get them. Get them. But yeah, uh, thanks everybody for coming by and watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for listening. I uh, hope uh, we were able to you know, get some info out to y'all that uh, helped y'all out. Um, until next week, knock on wood, well, maybe we'll see uh, Amazon Fury next week or the week after. Don't know yet. Until then, y'all take care. Bye.